channel. I finally got my uh, bearings from banggoods.com for the Hubson H502E, the Desire. And I'm going to start installing the bearings on the motor that is spinning slower. And I'm hoping it's not a bad motor. I'm hoping that it's the bearings. If it doesn't resolve the issues, then we'll have to replace the motor. But for now, since we have the part, I uh, already removed all the screws from the quad. And if you're wondering how to do that, you can look at the previous video on how to remove the screws. So when you remove the bottom part of the quad, you have to be careful with the wires. So the motor mounts, the motor mounts are attached to the top part. So you just pull on it to release it right here. So you can see if you're not careful, you yank the wire. So the motor mount is right here. So you just got to remove this tab like so. So there's a tab right here and you just, the motor mount comes right off. It holds the motors. So now once you release all the motor mounts, you should be able to remove the top part. But you still got to be careful with wires because there's a GPS wire on top. You can see right here. Alright, so these are the wires that lead to the GPS, which is shielded with the black tape. You, have to re you can remove these wires so you can work more comfortably. So just remember that facing the back part of you, there's a green wire one. And there's a, this is the only one that has a green wire. That one goes to the left. So quad facing your face, facing your, you're facing the rear of the quad. This one, this wire right here, is the left side. And you see it has green, it's the only one with the green wire. So this goes on the left side. And this one doesn't have the green wire. And it also comes off. So you just pull it off like that. And the last one, you just pull out and you remove it. And that's the top part of the quad. Just remember, like I said before, the one with the green wire goes on the left side. And the one that does not have the green wire goes on the right side. And this, and your GPS module is behind the shield there. So we can remove this out of the way. And we can work a little bit more comfortably without it locking us. Now, the motor runs, so I know the motor is not bad. It's possible that the motor is weak and the motor may, might need to be replaced, but um, I'm thinking it's more the bearing than anything else. So when you remove the top part of the quad, you'll have a better view of, of the motors and you can work on getting the um, bearings out. So, the one that's giving me problems is this one. So, we're going to remove that transmission shaft, which was replaced last time, and the gear was also replaced. The bearing is right here. So, these are the bearings that we're going to use to replace. There are two bearings on the motor. There's one on top and there's one on the bottom. So we're gonna see if we can pull it out by using a screwdriver. And hopefully it will come out. 
see if I can just push it out. Here we go. I think it's coming out now. Zero. So you got to use a little bit of force and you have to play with it and you pop out the bearings by using, um, I use a flathead screwdriver, a really small one, and you just push it out and it will come out. And that's the, there's two bearings, so that's the first one. And then there's a bottom one that you need to pull. So we need to go in there and like push it out. All right, so you just push it out until it falls out. And like I said, it takes a little bit of a, you know, force, but you don't want to be too forceful. You don't want to crack the motor mount. And this is your motor mount. It holds the motor. And that's it. That's how you remove the bearings. So then we'll have to get the new bearings and put them in there. All right. It's good to put a little grease on the bearings in case they don't have enough grease. And you can get this from your local Harvey store. Matter of fact, this actually came with my RC boat. So I'm not actually going to use it. And it's a light grease. It's not a heavy grease. You just need a little bit of grease. So I'm just going to grease the bearings. And you don't need a lot. I'm just going to put a little bit on... inside the bearing and let it soak in a little bit and that's all I need and then I'm gonna put it inside the motor mount and press down uh, and when in, make sure it goes in straight or else it, has, it gets stuck let's try that again There we go. So it should snap in. You should hear a snap. I'm just going to put a little bit more grease. All right. Good. So on the other side, same principle. Let's put a little grease on the bearing. And you can get this from a hobby store. Like I said before, I was lucky enough that I had this from my RC boat. All right, so if you put a little bit too much of grease, you just move your finger around it and it'll, it'll absorb, it'll go inside. So we're gonna just put this in here, nice and straight and perfect. I'm actually gonna put some grease on a transmission rod and I can see where the grooves are from the bearings. So this will help the rod not wear out as much. So I'm gonna put a little bit of grease with my finger, rub it around, lube the shaft. Same thing here. Just rub it around. And that will help that transmission shaft not to wear out so much. Okay, so now we're just going to put this back. Make sure the wheel, the wheel is spinning. You can see the gear is spinning the other gear. So that's good. We're just going to carefully place the motor mount back on the hooks. Without pinching wires. You're gonna see that wires are always in the way. You gotta to have to make sure you so don't you just make wires. sure when you place the motor mount, it goes in. And and when you do this, the others will sometimes pop out too. So just do the same thing. Make sure the gear is facing down, the main gear. And just you know. Just place it in place. You'll see where it belongs. There's little tabs. And uh, the hard part is really the wire. It's not much room to play with as far as where the wire go. So you don't want that wire to be in the way. 
you don't want to pinch it so you just want to place it in there okay it's not much of a snap it's just if there's a little notch that holds it in place these notches right here they actually go here and hold to hold them the motor mounts in place all right so just to emphasize again with the wire pinching this wire you do not want to squeeze it into this tab here where this belongs this tab will go here and these two tabs will go on the other so you know it's not fun but it's a little bit of a pain it could be a pain in the butt trying to make sure that they fall away from that tab so you kind of have to like fidget these wires dance these wires around until they're out of the way and then you kind of like make sure that the motor mounts fall into those grooves and uh, see how I move the wires out of the way there's some on the right and there's some on the left you don't want wires to go underneath this tab here because then it can splice the wire and they don't really hold that tight once you put everything together it will fall into place but it's basically making sure that these motors fell in these motor mounts are nice and tight because you don't want them to be loose they can cause vibrations and flight so I'm just going around making sure that they're in tight all right awesome so they look good now it's time to assemble the other shell all right just before I close I just want to show you a little close-up of the flight board behind this metal plate is the ribbon for your camera which is right here and this antenna right here is our 2.4 uh, which is laying across this arm right here just to let you see that right there it's an it's an incredible quad everything's so tiny and it's one of the first toy quads with GPS so this is really a awesome it's amazing how they put this all together Hubson again like I said before in my other videos Hubson raised the bar up for um, toy quads. Right, so we're gonna put this back but we go, we have to put the GPS antennas back, um, the wires that hook up to the GPS. Remember, the green wire goes on your left. The quad is facing the rear towards you, so the green connection goes here, and the other one goes on the other side. So we just carefully put it back in, in there. You can hear it clicking, so there, that's one. And now we're going to put the other one, the green one. Make sure you put the green wires on the left, on this side. There we go. So now we're in. So you can see green on your left, and the other one on the right without the green. So that's it. So now we have the wires in. You just make sure they're snug, because this is your GPS. And we put everything back. We go around. Make sure the wires are not out of the frame. You don't want to pinch those wires. We'll just slowly go around and uh, you start clicking them evenly across. And make sure the, the camera is not crooked or anything. This is spinning, this is spinning, this is spinning. Actually, that still needs to be clicked down. Yeah, see, you got to really visually inspect to make sure it closes on you. See, so yeah, it has to click in there. All right, now always gave me problems a little bit for some reason, but and also when you do this, the LEDs are very delicate, so don't put too much force on these wires because they can break on you. And matter of fact. That has happened to me. I had to resolder one of the wires from the last video. When I turned on the quad, the light bulb was not turning on. The LED was 
the wire was broken so don't put too much force on what your fingers on it because they will break and that's it so now what I'm going to do is go around and um, tightening up the body and like I said in the last video when you do this just uh, make sure you tighten this these four first to make an evenly um, seal. If you just go on one side, it kind of puts it puts it puts a lot of force on one side of the leg, and then all this is like so. It's like a, like a lug nut of a of a of a tire. So we'll just screw this one in, and then we'll go around and tighten tighten up the body. Okay, um, I just want to emphasize something that you should do when you put these props on. When you first buy this quad, the screws that come on the props have Loctite. They have blue Loctite. So I recommend to um, buy a little tube of Loctite. You can get this anywhere. I got this from Amazon.com. But you can get this anywhere. You can get this in a hardware store. Um, and just put a little dab of blue Loctite on a screw. So what you could do is find something that you don't right, mind so getting dirty. I would like to, uh, well, drip all over the place. All right, so I took some of the Loctite, the blue one. Never get the red one. The red one is very strong, and that's a permanent lock. The blue one is not permanent. I'll keep it tight, but not permanently locked. So just uh, take the screw, just dab it. Just a little bit of Loctite, like that. I'll use a light so you can see that better. See, I'm just dabbing it. You don't need a lot, you just need a little bit. Just to make sure you have some on that tip. Okay, so once you put your blue Loctite, then you just put it in there like so. And tighten it. Because you have metal on metal, and this will help secure the screw. And don't over tighten. You just want to make sure it's snug, and that's it. And you do the rest for all of them. All right. It looks like it solved the problem. It's running good. I have it. I'm not giving it a throttle. This is on idle. Just to let you see. So I'm letting it, I'm just going to let it break in because this is brush. So I'm just going to give it some chance, some time for it to break in. So take a look at it. It's spinning much faster. And it looks like it's better now. I'm going to give it a test flight later on and see how it does. but. It looks good. It looks much better. So when you do this, it's a good idea to uh, let them break in. So let it idle for a while. Let the motors run for a long time. And so you can break in the bearings. There's grease in there, so you want it to get lubed in there. So as we're doing this, the, the grease is going into the bearings and and breaking it in a little bit better. There is a breaking period when it's brand new, so you know I'll give it a minute or two, let it run for a while. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.